Welcome, my lovely Pisces. Let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for you guys. This is for your sun, moon, and rising sign. Also, keep in mind this is a timeless reading. Let's go ahead and see what messages Spirit has for Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. So Pisces, you guys are starting off with red jasper. This may be a stone that is helpful for you during this time. Maybe put it under your pillow or keep it in your pocket, but this is all about taking action. And I feel like with taking action, it's not just taking any old kind of action. This is about taking action when you feel that intuitive nudge. We also have doubt here. I release the need to know all the answers. So I feel like for some of you Pisces, you know, you could be in your head right now with the crown chakra. There could be like some blockages or some foggy energy when it comes to your mind and your thoughts. You know, um, really focus on releasing any type of doubt that you have. Some of you guys, you need to release some type of control. You know, when you feel that resistance, kind of like let off the pedal a bit and, you know, affirm and know and say out loud that you know that everything is going to work out in your favor. You are the co-creator of your reality. So when you keep your thoughts positive or constructive, you can really, you know, attract the lifestyle, the desires that you want in your life. So your overall energy is the high priestess. This is a really important time to pay attention to your intuition. Find time to meditate, quiet your mind so you can get those downloads, so you can get those gems from your spiritual team. Cause you guys are moving into lighter times, right? Um, but I feel like there may be some type of energy of conflict. Maybe like when you're in the present, it's a little bit more happy, a little bit more joyful, more clarity. But when you're in the past, it may be a little bit sad. There may be some sorrow kind of looking at the past. If you are looking at the past, know that you can't change it, right? It's already happened. So maybe look at the lessons, maybe look at it in a, in a constructive light or the silver lining of the past situations that may be causing you disappointment because there's something from the past that's holding you back. Um, you see the strings attached to the puppet. You're allowing your past memories um, or past situations control your present moment and it may dim your light a little bit. You know, focus on your fulfillment, your happiness, your home life. Like what kind of abundance or harmony do you wanna bring in your life? So I love that for you guys. So we're starting off with the king of pentacles some of you pisces could be focused um, on your stability you know grounding yourself but for some of you i feel like with my guides they're saying like your head's kind of in the clouds right now so maybe grounding exercises would be very helpful for you you guys have some good news coming in with the page of cups with this good news it's something that's going to pull at your heartstrings so um be open to you know some good news coming in for some of you it could be love messages it could be someone asking you out on a date or to have coffee as well so we have the three of pinnacles some of you could be working with a group collaborating this could be work as well learning something new going back to school but really collaborating and working with other people or for some of you you're just learning something new growing and expanding um, your mind make sure you're taking time to um take breaks right with the four of swords here you may need a little rest so make sure you're listening to your body when you need to rest when you need to take breaks you know um, really focus on nurturing yourself during this time especially if you're dealing with doubt and the um, clouded energy with your crown chakra nurturing yourself is going to be your superpower self-care is your superpower so you know find ways to take care of yourself that resonates with you so what about the page of cups 
Wow. So some of you, the Page of Cups coming in, this is the very beginning, it's going to turn into the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever news that comes in, whether it's love, whether it's work, whatever it is, this good news that comes in is going to lead to this new beginning. Something for the long term, something that's solid for some of you. It could be an increase of your financial gain. For others of you, if this is a relationship, we have the lovers down here. This is going to be a bond that's going to um, stand the test of time and it's going to be for the long term. Be patient with yourself. You guys are going through some type of change, transformation. So make sure you're showing yourself grace and you're talking to yourself kindly as well. Whatever you're growing or you're learning with a group of people or just with yourself, it's going to help um, with your foundation, the foundation of your mindset, your, your money, but it's really going to impact your foundation of your life in a very beautiful way. It could open up doors for you in the future. So here we go with the four of swords again. So Pisces, make sure you guys are resting, taking breaks, taking care of yourself. The most important relationship you have is with yourself. So make sure you get that rest when it's needed. Make sure you take that inspired action when you feel that intuitive nudge and you guys are going to be A-OK. -okay. So please make sure to like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. If you could comment a purple heart below, I would truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance, and until next time.